In this lesson, we're going to see how to use the hash map class as a way of storing key value pairs. The hash map class differs from the tree map class that we just looked at in that a hash map cannot guarantee the order of the items in the collection. So, for example, in a tree map, the keys may be in alphabetical order or numerical order throughout the lifetime of a program. With a hash map, there is no guarantee of any such order. Other than that, they are exactly the same, and for most situations, they can be used the same. Since generally, when we're working with associative containers, we're not worried about the order so much as being able to retrieve a value based on a key. So let's look briefly at how to use the hash map class. We're going to write a program called grades.java, and in it, we're going to store a set of grades. First thing we have to do is import the hash map class. We'll do that first. Then we'll start our program. First thing we want to do is instantiate a hash map object. So we have to provide the data types for the key and value. So we'll do string integer for a set of grades, followed by open and close parentheses. To add name grade pairs, we use the put method. We'll put a few grades in here. We'll do one more. To retrieve a grade, we use the get method with a key. So, for example, if I want to print out Smith's grade, I would write grades.get and then provide Smith as the argument. So let's compile at this point, see what we get. And so Smith's grade is 88. We can check the size of a hash map using the size method. Let's try that real quick. We have four grades in our collection. If we need to remove a grade, we have a remove method where we provide a key, and it will remove that key, assuming it's there. Oh, well, let's add the size back in. So let's copy and paste that. Add that back in. There we go. And now we just have three grades. If we want to check to see that a key exists before we actually remove it, which is usually a good idea, we can say grades contains key brown and put that inside an if statement. And we might add a little message here, call it a record. Let's compile and try that again. There we go. And another method that I won't demonstrate here but can be used is one called contains value, where you might want to check to see if a particular value exists in a collection. It's not used as often as contains key, though, so I won't demonstrate it here. But with that, you see the general operation of the hash map class. These are the methods that you'll use the most often. And with that, we'll wrap up this lesson. And we're ready to move on to the exercises for this chapter where we're going to take a look at some practical examples of using the tree map and the hash map classes.